Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Animosh and yes, I'm back with another fashion show. So the subject for this time's fashion show is this uh, Seiko SARB033 that is on loan by my buddy Mr. Imran at, in, at Gila Jam in Instagram. And yes, this is the uh, kind of, I think it's the third, the third, the third piece that I've borrowed from him for review. And I've made a review for this particular piece and I think it's an awesome and cool watch if you can find it at uh, at a great price um, but I still think that it's for 500 bucks that it's going for now it's a bit too expensive anyway so as usual as my usual um, treatment for every watch that I've I've reviewed I will do a fashion show so that you my viewers can have an, an idea of what to do when you have some maybe you have this own this particular watch or maybe you have something similar to this and you want to spice it up or spice it down using these straps options that is available okay so let's start with NATO straps of course NATO strap is a very very easy and simple way for you to match up your watch uh, with your, your attire of the day for example you don't you want to look something a bit you, look, you want to look a bit sporty today so you you have the choice of using this um lux nato from lovewatchstraps.com in singapore so thank you very much gerald for provide for providing me this super cool uh nato strap I've made a review for this particular strap as well. This is the Bond colorway. So you can see that we have a brush buckle here. And we have two keepers here. And this, the center one is actually a, a free moving keeper. So that you can adjust it whilst the strap is on the wrist. And here we have that um, logo, skull logo from One Piece, the, anime, the Japanese anime. Apparently, Gerald is a big fan of that show. And we have, so of course, we have this super, super smooth. Uh, I think this thickness is about 1.2 millimeters. Uh, uh, what do you call this? Seat belt style needle strap. And of course, most importantly, these circular holes, which makes it much, which makes the hole much, much more durable in the long, in the long run. Okay, so, oh, I forgot to do a quick swatch check. Today, I'm wearing my Quan Chin Nomos Lambda Homage watch. This watch is kindly provided to me by GearBest.com. And it's, of course, it's on this, um, what do you call this, waffle strap from CheapestNatoStraps.com. Alright, so let's see how this Sub-033 looks on my... 6.75 inch wrist so you can see trying to not knock this <laughs> watch while i'm wearing this strap okay so this is going to be a challenge guys so bear with me bear with me All right so the one thing that i really really hope All right okay so you know what i'm gonna pause all right so the one thing that i really really like about this strap this lux nato strap from lovewatchstraps.com is the design of the of this peak, uh, this buckle so basically the buckle is down here and this is the fixed keepers and the moving keepers so what you can do is you can just slide it up like so and you can see that the end of this strap is yeah just 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 it's dangling a bit there so if for, by doing this you it is easier for you to if let's say you want to take the watch off you just have to you know just have to put boom Okay, so you no need to untangle, untangle. You know, if let's say in your in your normal NATO, so what you need to do is you need to you know you can just you, you need to fold it back like so, right? So when you want to take it off, so you have to untangle this one to get this thing out of this the keeper first, then only you take it off from the holes, right? But this one, this Lux needle from Love Watch Strap, just have to side off like so and boom you're good to go and go to the next strap which is strap number two that is what we call the um oh man i forgot the, <laughs> the name of the strap i think this one is this is well basically i know this strap is coming came from a springmate.com so you can see that this is an infinitely adjustable narrow strap so you can see there's no buckle over here, no buckle over there. So the buckle is down here. So you have to loop that the strap into this holes first, second, and then turn back, and boom. So when you want to adjust this, you just have to adjust this part 
of the buckle so so this one is also also has a moving keeper so i've made i've also made a video review video review for this particular piece please check out my video archives right so yeah looking clean now on this particular uh, needle strap from springmate.com right so next up is another needle strap which is from blueshockstraps.com so this time around this is the uh, i think this is from the alpha premier alpha premier uh, collection so again we have this super super small font 1.2 millimeters thickness uh seat belt style needle strap and this time around this features a circle not circular a rectangular pattern over here and this is the vintage bond colorway which plays really really nice with this black color glossy dial of the sub 033 right so of course we have a blue shark signed uh, brush logo over here and the difference between the love nato here or lux nato from lovewatchstraps.com is this one the moving keeper is on this side right on the love it's on this side of the buckle so you can see that the, the difference is there so what this one will do is when you put it on your wrist okay so I'm I'm, I'm gonna try doing this without sh pausing the video <laughs> bear with me guys so what is what is happening is that so when you put it on your wrist this one you have to fold it back because this 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 uh, keeper won't move right so what you can do is however fold it back like so and fold it back put it inside the second buckle and you can adjust this one right so that it won't uh, move around like that right so again another neat uh, system or another neat uh, accessories to have in for your sub 033 it's just a style so which one you prefer you prefer if you prefer the you know the 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 end of the strap like this one yeah it's the power is to, the, the power is the i mean, I mean the choice is you know within your hands right okay so let's go to strap number four which is this sand color strap from i think this is called the thin strap by dials and straps.com so we have this sand or uh, maybe a brownish or even a gold some people call it gold but i think dials and strap call this a sand color so we have this of course super super nice slim nato style and at the both edges you can see that there is a bit of i don't know how to say this a weave pattern is a bit different between the center of the uh, versus the center of the strap and again we have a circular holes pattern here and we have a yeah we have a fixed keeper this time around so not as uh, the love watch strap and also as the blue shark with this one has two fixed keepers again the buckle is almost similar design i'm not really sure whether these guys are using the same exact buckle supply or not i'm not, I'm not going to comment on that but still a very nice stitching and uh, you know it's not that thick so it's really quite nice for something as petite as small as this sub 033 right so when it is on your wrist it's gonna look like something like this okay so okay so yes let's just enjoy the gray or sand color on this sub 033 the black this our uh, this watch is black so it suits every colors that is available on the market right now just avoid going just avoid using a rainbow strap on this watch guys okay so i know it's a strap monster but please avoid rainbow colors all right okay so let's go to strap number five which is this cool French paratrooper style strap from AliExpress. So I've done a review for this particular straps uh, in maybe a few bits before, maybe last month or last two or three months. I can't really remember. But yes, this features this um, Marine National style. So you can see that we have a black stretchy material here and we have a white uh, color center here providing a very nice contrast with this uh, black and white uh, color of the of the sub 033 so you can see it is easy to put this thing on so you just have to put it the hook on here and you can adjust it adjust it on the go and with this elastic strap so you can see that we have an very very comfortable strap on the wrist which 
you know you, you can use it all day long without having to adjust the holes because we are you are now free of holes right so if you want to make it loose just pull it down like so and you can feel that the the strap is loose and when, when you feel that you need to tighten it up you just have to pull it up like so which is really really cool and such a cool design i think in my opinion okay so let's go to strap number six which is this super cool harris tweet strap from vario singapore so you can see that it still maintains the the theme of the day which is black color but this time around it has a combination of black and a little bit of white here and there so of course we this is made from tweed to uh, tweed t w e e d right so we can see that you it's, it's quite thick this thing is but you know what for if you want to spice up you know if you want you still want to maintain the say the black color black uh black hue of the watch but you want something that is a bit different so this is one of the way that you can do right so this of course has this uh polish uh, vario keeper uh, buckle here and we have a tank buckle here and at the back we have a uh, harry street sign there and we have a vario sign over here so let's see how it looks on my wrist this strap i've done a review for this particular strap for quite a long time ago so i am not my wrist is not even seven inch so you can see that that is <laughs> where the strap is on my wrist so if you are if you are having a seven and a half or an eight inch wrist so i don't think this guy will suit you but yeah check that out i love how the f how this thing looks on my wrist right so let's go to strap number seven which is this super cool sail cloth strap from I uh, I want a strap.com so yes I featured this strap for quite some time now I've had this for almost two years now so you can see there is no nothing bad happened to the strap so far the stitching is always intact and this material I don't know what to call this I just gonna call it sail cloth material is waterproof so it is a very very good good feature because in Malaysia we have a I don't know what to call it it's it's not not always summer because if let's say you live in japan and your summer is like uh, it's hot in the morning it's hot in the evening and it's even hotter during the night so but in malaysia we have a very very hot afternoon and at the end of the day maybe start 5 or 6 p.m like that you will have a torrential rain it's, it's raining like cats and dogs here so in the afternoon you're going to be sweaty but in the evening you're going to be wet all right so this is uh, the kind of strap that i really, really like to use because it is waterproof so if you, if you get it wet you just can take a towel or a, a tissue wiper so just wipe it off wipe wipe the moisture off the strap and you are good to go all right so we have the combination of a polish buckle polish section here at the buckle and of course a br uh, brush uh, section here which is matching the aesthetic of the sub zero t3 where we also have a combination of polish and brush brush uh, material right so uh, obviously um, now i want a strap.com have uh, upgraded their straps featuring a quick release uh, feature so but this one i've I, I i've got this one is this is the old version so it doesn't have that one but i think you can still have this for about 35 us dollars which is a i don't know it's money worth worth spend guys money worth spend check that out i just love that red stitching playing around with this black spartan color of the sub 033 right so yeah let's go to strap number eight which is this rally style silicone strap from again from vario singapore so i've used this one quite a lot so this features those uh you know holes <laughs> holes on the surface of it and you can see that there's quite a lot of lint or dust this is definitely a dust magnet but you know i don't i don't really bother just go ahead and wash it under the water and it will soon be gone and of course we have this stitch in here all over the strap and uh, this side also as well so we have uh, two um non as uh, two moving keepers here so i always appreciate 
moving keep indiv uh, independent, loop, independently adjustable keepers because if it's fixed it's gonna be quite because it's gonna be quite difficult when you want to put the stress on and of course we have again a sign polish buckle sign value there and at the back so it features the same texture as the front you can see I've been using this one, this one quite a lot so you can see that there's quite a lot of dust uh, trap there and yeah at this yeah I think this this suits the um, the mundane or Spartan look of the sub zero three three so you want to give it a sporty look but you don't want to make it that uh, you know too much in your face kind of strap so this is one of the options that you can go right so again of course uh, Vario has more colors to the stitching so. I think uh, Ivan sent me a blue stitching and also a red stitching strap. I don't think he has another colors as well. Maybe these three, I can't really remember. But yeah, still, this is a nice option if you want to make sure, if you want to use this uh, strap on during your summer or summer vacation or something like that. Okay, so let's go to strap number nine. Which is, of course, my favorite leather strap on the planet. <laughs> this is the... A... Venezia from damn I can't remember from Colare <laughs> so sorry Colare strap this is called Venezia this is the brown color which suits almost every color every dial color that you can think of apart from maybe red or yellow dial color <laughs> watch which I don't have I and mean, maybe I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy anytime soon but yeah still you can see that there are lots and lots of battle scars on this uh, strap which means that I've been using it quite a lot and you can see even though after two years or two and a half years of owning this strap the holes are still intact so there's no holes that have been damaged whatsoever yeah and I you know what I, this is just a very very soft super soft strap that it, of course it's a bit expensive to buy in the first place but it's totally worth the money thank you very much to TDV Tristano for uh, introduce, introducing me with this particular strap. So of course, yes, we have this uh, um, polish buckle over here. Shame it doesn't have any uh, any uh, collarate sign over there. But yeah, it's you know what everybody knows it's uh, it's collarate, right? So okay, of course wrist wash check, right? Let's put it on my wrist and check out how that brown color looks. Really, really nice on a black dial watch a black glossy dial of the sub 033 all right so yeah let's just enjoy that that looks cool oh yeah okay so let's go to strap number 10 which is my favorite mesh bracelet from strapco.com so you can see I've been featuring this bracelet in all, almost all of my uh, fashion show video and yeah for a good reason it gives that it gives any watch a vintage look it's lightweight so you won't you want to have something that looks classy and you want something that looks vintage but you don't want to add too much and um, weight to the watch so this is one it's of the options available for you on the market and yeah I think it looks good looks classy and somehow it makes the sub 033 looks a lot more expensive than it already is <laughs> right so yeah maybe if Seiko put the for any of their watch you know, on the on a mesh bracelet maybe they can mark up another you know one or two hundred dollars yeah I think it looks stunning on this watch right okay so this is my best option in my opinion so if you guys have any opinions what should you put on the Seiko Sub Sub Zero Three Three. So please go ahead and give your give your comment comments in the uh, comment section below. And of course, if you like this kind of video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more future videos, future fashion review videos, fashion show videos such as this, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And also, don't forget to push the bell notification twice so that you won't miss any of my future videos. So until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.